Welcome back everyone, Houston Math Prep here to talk to you about the slope-intercept form of a line. When we talk about the slope-intercept form of a linear equation here, it looks like y equals mx plus b. We've got our variables x and y in the equation, but we also have these numbers m. m is the slope of our line. We talked about slope in our previous video in the series. The slope of a line just basically tells us how much the line is going up or down for each unit that we go over to the right on the line so if we have a positive slope then the line is going up as we move to the right if we have a negative slope a negative m then the line is going down as we go to the right on the line our b here at the end of the equation is the y-intercept the y-intercept just tells us where the line crosses the y-axis We'll just go over several examples with you finding the slope and the y-intercept for each of these linear equations. So remember, our slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is our slope and b is our y-intercept. So if our m here is 2 and our b is 3, then we'll say for this one that the slope is 2 and the y-intercept. Now remember, the y-intercept is a point, so we don't just want to say equals 3. We want to go ahead and say the point on the y-axis at 3. And the point on the y-axis at 3 is actually going to be 0, 3. So that's our slope 2 and our y-intercept. Here we look at y equals x minus 5. If you think about just x, that's the same as having a 1x. So this is going to be our m is going to be 1. So our slope is equal to 1 in this case. And don't forget to include the minus, that's like having a negative 5 for our b. So we cross the y-axis at negative 5, so our y-intercept is actually going to be the point 0, comma, negative 5 for this one. y equals 4x, that's the same as having y equals 4x plus what? Plus nothing, right? Plus 0. So here we have an m of 4, so we'll say that our slope is equal to 4. And if our y-intercept is 0, really that's saying the point 0, comma 0. So we actually go through the origin on this one, y equals 4x. Over here, y equals negative 3x plus 1 third. So here our m is negative 3. So our slope is actually a negative slope this time. It's actually negative 3. Our y-intercept, if b is 1 third, then that means our y-intercept is actually 0, comma, one third. That's where we go through the y-axis on this one. Let's look at our last one on this page. y equals negative three-fifths x minus two. So our m here is negative three-fifths. That tells us that our slope is negative three-fifths. And we have minus two. So if we think about going through the y-axis at negative two, then that tells us our y-intercept is actually zero comma negative two for this one. Let's look at some examples that are not already in the slope-intercept form. So in order to tell the slope and the intercept easily, we want it to be in y equals mx plus b form. Then we can see right away the slope and the y-intercept value. If we look here, 2x plus y equals 4, this isn't solved for y. We don't have y equals like we have y equals mx plus b. So in this one, we'll need to actually get y by itself first. So to get rid of this term entirely, we'll need to subtract this 2x to the other side. And because it's mx plus b, I'm going to go ahead and write, instead of writing 4 minus 2x, I'm going to write the x term in front and then the number after, right? So let's go ahead and say y equals, we'll put negative 2x plus 4. Now it's in the mx plus b form, right? So this is our m here is negative 2 and our b is 4. So that tells us that our slope for this one is going to be negative 2. And if our b is 4, then that means that our y-intercept is actually going to be 0, 4. For number 7 here, 6x plus 2y equals 10. Again, not solved for y, so we need to get it into y equals form. Get rid of the x term on the left entirely. We'll subtract and get that x term on the other side. So that will give us then 2y still is equal to negative 6x plus 10. We have the y term by itself, but not y equals, right? We still have times 2, so we need to do the opposite, which is divide by 2. And after we divide by 2, we'll get y equals negative 3x. 10 divided by 2 will give us plus 5. So our m here is now negative 3, and our b is 5. So that tells us that slope is negative 3. 
and it tells us that our y-intercept is actually going to be 0, 0,5. All right, and looking at our last two examples, 3x minus 2y equals 8. So if we do that one, again, getting the y term by itself, we'll need to subtract the x first, so subtract 3x. That will put an x term on the right side instead of the left side. So don't forget your negative here. We still have negative 2y is equal to negative 3x plus 8. And now I want to get rid of the times negative 2, so I divide by negative 2. Divide every term by negative 2, so we'll get y equals negative divided by a negative here will give us a positive, so we actually get positive 3 halves, x. And then positive 8 divided by negative 2 would give us minus 4. So in this case, our m is 3 halves and our b is negative 4. That tells us then our slope is 3 halves. And if our b is negative 4, then that means our y-intercept is actually the point 0, comma, negative 4. For our last one here, 2x minus 6y equals 14. Again, not in y equals mx plus b form, so we'll go ahead and subtract 2x to the other side. Giving us an x term on the right, that'll give us negative 6y is equal to negative 2x plus 14. We'll need to divide by this negative 6. And don't forget to divide every term by negative 6. So we'll get y is equal to negative divided by a negative as a positive, and then 2 over 6 actually reduces to 1 over 3, so we get 1 third x. Positive divided by a negative would make minus there. And 14 over 6, if we reduce 14 over 6, we can divide both by 2. That would actually give us 7 over 3 if we reduce by 2. So our m in this case is 1 third. Our b is negative 7 thirds. So our slope then is going to be positive one-third. Our y-intercept, if b is negative seven-thirds, will be zero comma negative seven-thirds. All right, everybody, hopefully that gives you some good practice with finding slope and the y-intercept by either just looking at the slope-intercept form of the line, y equals mx plus b, or getting your equation into slope-intercept form, and then finding from there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.